Right, so my name is Neil Hubbard uh, and I'm a project designer at Heatherwick Studio. More than anything in our studio, there's, uh, people have to be interested in making. They really have to know how to get kind of dirt under their fingernails and, and know how things are crafted. The other thing is just is, is open-mindedness and a curiosity because you have to just keep wanting to explore and find and challenge and, and that is a often tiring and exhaustive process but, but if, you, if you don't go through that journey it's, uh, it's, you're not getting the best result. For us, we don't often walk around and go, ah, there's inspiration in the trees, or, you know, I saw this thing, and that's it. A lot of our inspiration for our projects come from the projects. So when people look at, say, the new bus for London, um, which is a project I worked on for, for two years, uh, um, they say, oh, what inspired you to create this design? And, and we say, well, actually, it's the fact that this was a two-story vehicle. It had three doors, which was unlike any other double-decker bus. It had two staircases, so it was a very unique kind of program. So what you, when you look at the vehicle, actually the thing that created it is it. Um, and that's what we hope with all of our projects. We try and look at the brief and really boil it down. And not just to find a story which explains that project, but the story. What is the one thing? There's often this common thing in design where somebody comes on and, you know, draws on a piece of paper and ah, now build it, you know, it's, uh, that's, that's not our approach at all and it's, uh, it's, it's a lot more painful than that, it's a lot more tiring than that. But within every brief there is an opportunity to be discovered, there is a thing that we can try and extract and I think those questions really help start that process. So fundamental to every project is that initial bit of what you might call kind of boring analysis but actually that's, that's the way you pull the project apart and you try and just know everything about it and then start to kind of reel it back in. So a lot of the project, a lot of the process is this kind of exploration and distillation. So you kind of cast your net wide, you try and explore numerous avenues, and then you try and tick them off and, and kind of close some down, and oh, we've grasped onto that one, and we'll take that one with us, and, and, and then explore that route. So you have to explore every single other option, every 200 other ideas, just to tick them off and say no, because the thing that you're left with that one thing, that's what we should build, because everything else is rubbish. So it's this constant questioning. I think that initial provocation is really important, and that's what drives you. And as I said before, when you go back to that, trying to find that story, you're really trying to find that provocation. You go to the client, and this is actually what your project is about. How do we do this? How do we solve this? I think the fun thing is being the naive one. It's, um, in all of our projects, we are the most inexperienced member of the team. Um, because we've never designed a power station before, so we've never designed a bus before. All these people have been designing bus for 20, 30 years. You know, they know buses. And, and for us to come along and start provoking and questioning is, you know, it can be slightly irritating to them sometimes, but hopefully we can uncover something that's gone beyond what they've always done before. And the, the greatest thing is actually seeing your projects get built. Uh, no one wants to just see things left on the drawing board. We are not content with drawing hundreds of ideas seeing something through and, and that end result uh, being of the quality and excitement that you had when you drew that initial sketch, is, it's, it brings a tear to your eye, it's so moving. Get in the workshop, I mean the thing that my tutors always told me was just produce, 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 just keep making, like if you, even if you're stuck mentally just keep making, you know you'll find the answer, your hands will find the answer.